Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say that we have another at least polarizing and unique scent from the house of Frederick Mall. Of course, we're talking about the brand new release from 2018, Music for a While. It's coming up next. Some of you may or may not know I'm a huge music buff. I love music. I collect records, LPs, CDs. I've always loved music. I play a little bit of a guitar as well. It's definitely been one of my lifetime passions as well as fragrance. They go hand in hand. I'd say um, I don't see music taking over fragrance or fragrance taking over music. They are head to head as my two true passions in life. So when I received the newsletter last year from Frederick Moll saying that Carlos Benayim was going to collaborate with Frederick Mall to put together a fragrance called Music for a While. I just had to check it out. Frederick Mall's Music for a While was released earlier this year between February and March was really when it started to see this fragrance popping up. You can expect to find this fragrance at Frederick Mall's boutiques as well as Barney's New York City in my neck of the woods. If you live in other parts of America, I'm not sure where you're going to be able to find it. But like I said, Barney's New York City or the Frederick Mall boutique are the best bets to find this fragrance. There is no way you're going to be able to find Frederick Mall fragrances at discount sites or gray market areas, which is one of the things about Frederick Mall. They are very tight, very much like Chanel. They keep their distribution points of distribution and authorized dealers in a very tight rain, which is really great. Uh, that way you always expect to find quality and authentic products. So music for a while, you're gonna look at three main sizes. They have a 10 ml uh, travel atomizer. It's gonna run you about $60. The 50 ml, which is the one I got for $215, or the 100 ml, which will run you 310 American. Music for a while, like I mentioned before, is a collaboration between two great noses, Frederick Mall, obviously, and Carlos Benaim, which is a master perfumer that needs no introduction. Music for a while is an EDP, Eau de Parfum concentration, and it's classed as a citrus, fruity aromatic. One thing I love about Frederick Mall is that you've seen one bottle, you've seen them all, however, very classy, very minimalist, but really outstanding uh, job that they do with these fragrances. Expect to see a batch code etched at the bottom. Uh, the sprayer on these are actually pretty good. You can't control the spray. If you spray stronger, it's gonna go all the way through. You could do half sprays or even a third of a spray. It smells just fantastic. It's gonna take all over the room, which I'm happy. But going back to the scent, what it smells like. Now, upon spraying this fragrance, you're gonna get this amazing blast of sophistication and elegance. This fragrance is very unique. It's very exotic. I love the scent. You know, the whole room is gonna smell like it. I'm glad it is, because it's one of those very powerful fragrances. Now, Frederick Maw and Carlos Benaim in an interview said themselves, and I quote, the roadmap to this fragrance were the lavender, the patchouli, and the vanilla. They were gonna take that trifecta and work backwards from it, trying to put together this really unique and very polarizing scent. If you like fragrances like Musk Ravageur, which I absolutely love and own two bottles of, the current formulation, the pre-reformulation, you know, the old vintage bottle, it is an outstanding fragrance and it's very polarizing. It's one of those fragrances that's not for everyone and you truly need to appreciate, you know, vanilla, you know, cinnamon, cloves, because those are like the main notes or main accords in that fragrance. Like I said, for this one here, expect to find an amazing blast of lavender, which is gonna be really the main uh, superstar of this fragrance, which is gonna really detect throughout the life of the fragrance. You absolutely must be a fan of lavender to appreciate this fragrance because lavender is going to be a very prominent note with this fragrance. When you first spray, it's gonna be a little bit sharp, you know, with the lavender here, but then it gets a little bit smoother and closer to the skin. What you're also gonna find here is a very fruity and juicy, almost mouth-watering trifecta of citron, bergamot, and the pineapple. Now the pineapple is gonna really surround the whole composition, giving it a very bright, again, this is from the, from the mouth of Frederick Moll and Carlos Benayim themselves, saying that they wanted to surround the composition, really lift it with a nice bright yellow kind of accord, and that's how they gave it the pineapple uh, juicy mouth watering effect that you get throughout the life of this fragrance from beginning to end. It starts really strong and sweet, then it's, it mellows out and gets really smooth with the lavender, playing this amazing uh, you know, dance again, playing this smooth, beautiful dance with the patchouli. The patchouli is not a really uh, in-your-face, earthy patchouli. It's rather a really refined, smooth and soft patchouli. A great scent, uh, one of my favorites from the house. Definitely climbing my charts of favorite Frederick Mall fragrances of all time. Music for a while is definitely very polished, very well-rounded, very refined type of scent. Like I said, all the notes here are very well put together as you would expect from Frederick Mall. The price is high but you get what you pay for. If you're looking for a great pineapple, patchouli, vanilla, and lavender scent, 
This is probably the best one in the market, hands down. Performance with music for a while was absolutely bonkers on my skin. I got seven plus hours a day's work. If you spray your clothes, expect to smell it the next day. It's one of those scents that really stays with you. As you walk around, people are gonna get whiffs. You know, the scent does not fade very quickly. Like I said, it is strong. Be careful, it could get very sharp and overwhelming if you go too crazy or trigger happy with this. Two to three sprays max on this one, I'm telling you, uh, because it's gonna push very strong, you know, as far as projection for the first two plus hours. So like I said, don't wanna make a crazy scene. Don't do more than three uh, sprays with this one, otherwise, you're gonna probably scare some people away because it gets a little bit sharp and overly sweet in the beginning, you know, for the first hour or so, then it starts to smooth and mellow out and really becomes this refined, very well polished, patchouli, pineapple, and lavender combination that I absolutely love. This is great for a signature scent. You can absolutely rock the scent all year long. Uh, male, female, doesn't matter. This is one of those gender-free scents. If you like lavender, rather, if you love lavender, if you love lavender, you make this a signature scent, people will definitely remember you. It's one of those very unique, exotic, and intriguing kind of scents. Anyone can rock it all year round. Signature scent, quality, sophistication, elegance, polished, a great fragrance from Frederick Mall. Frederick Mall never ceases to amaze me. Everything I have from them, I really enjoy. It's truly unique, and I'm looking to, you know, get more from this house. I have about five bottles, five different, you know, fragrances from this house, and I'm re really looking to to buff up this house this year because everything I've ever had from them, it's nothing but the greatness. Another one that's just quality through and through. You can smell the quality upon first spray. You know it's a very thought out fragrance, something that was you know, really well put together and they took their time to come up with this great fragrance. And Frederick Moe always gets the best perfumers out there to put together some amazing juices and this one here is no different. Ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on the house of Frederick Mall? Please let me know down in the comment section below what are your top three favorites from this house. I'd love to read your comments. And thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate the support. If it's not too much to ask, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for a lot more. And don't forget to enable notifications so you always get first dibs on fragrance new releases, fragrance news, giveaways, and everything fragrance related that happens on this channel and at the Emporium of Sense Fragrance Group. I will leave all the information down in the description below. In the meantime, as always, stay fragrant, keep on spraying, and of course, I got you covered. See you in the next one.